Before I start I would just like to say, as nearly everyone is aware of by now, that this is another one of those shitty rip-off Unicum guides. I'm a big fan of Daddy Slip Phantom aka Noodles, and ripping him off is seemingly the done thing now. This is a parody, to pay homage to a dank series that he started. This is just a small homage to the amazing work that he has done. Thank you Zenpai. I suppose I could make a guide on the Covenanter, I mean. Just about everyone is fucking doing this shit now. The Covenanter is a tier 4 British light tank usually driven by fuckwad new bro potatoes on their way to becoming a shitlord in a Cromwell. If you try and play this tank like a Cromwell then please get the fuck out of my games. I do not want you there. Many grind this tank and then forget about it without realizing its true potential. Today I will show you how to harness the power of the industrial revolution and rack up more assisted damage than a botched surgical procedure. You do not play the covenant to farm mega damage and carry your scrub team to victory. You play it because you want others to do the work for you, just like a true industrialist. You do not man fight people in the open like a meathead douchebag after a night out on cheap brandy. Instead, you engage your opponents just like how Taiwan fights China. All sneaky like, and only on your own terms. Your job is to sit on a flank and camp bush until baddies appear on your mini-map just like any other light tank. If you are spotted you do not stay and fight, instead you nope the fuck out, and take up a position, where you can pepper the enemy with your pea shooter of an armament, while also keeping them spotted for your laborers I mean allies. Despite turning on the move about as well as a wheelbarrow full of horse turd this tank will go fast in a straight line. Use this to your advantage when releasing your inner Frenchman, and getting the fuck out of there. This does also mean that trying to circle anything other than a mentally handicapped donkey will probably get you killed. So don't fucking do it. You pick your fights carefully and only YOLO it when your enemy is too busy rubbing his wang to notice you. Because the Covenanter was built by people who actually knew what the fuck they were doing, its gun has more depression than Gordon Brown in his last 6 months as Prime Minister. You use this to poke small hills and take pot shots whilst being as annoying as possible. Some people will tell you to equip the 3 inch howitzer. Do not listen to these people. They are fucking stupid and were likely also responsible for the downfall of the British Empire. If you want to run around like a retard and blast people with 0.53 accuracy there are better tanks for that. All true imperialists know to equip the 2 pounder gun as it actually has a naming circle somewhat smaller than your sister's dildo and almost as much penetration. Make sure to carry a healthy amount of skill rounds trademark for overpowered Stalin meme tanks. Here is the correct way to manage your string factory. You buy a gun laying drive, binoculars, and your choice of either camo net or vents. You load mostly intended gameplay rounds, but also a healthy amount of bullshit ammo. HE is for plebeians so disregard it. As stated the Covenanter is not a carry tank. If your team does bad then you will also get pounded and de-bad. However, if you have met your daily quota of tea and exotic cake imports then you can use the Covenanter to simultaneously annoy the living fuck out of enemies of the crown whilst jacking off to pictures of Princess Diana on your other monitor. Start training situational awareness on your commander and camo on the other crew members. When you reach your first skill drop for 6th sense, and start training snapshot and clutch breaking. When you reach your second skill drop for brothers in arms, and start training smooth ride. Then train whatever the fuck makes you wet in the pants. This is the correct way to spread imperialistic capitalism to the unwashed masses. Go out there and remind people why underpaid and underage labor is always the best option. Thank you for taking the time out to put up with my faggotry. You've probably seen a lot of these guides by now, but I hope mine was at least half decent. Of course I would like to give a shout out to Slip Phantom for conceptualizing this idea in the first place. I would also like to mention two other YouTubers currently making great Unicom guides of their own. Aki and Haku Drive. Links to their channels will be in the description. 
Again thank you for watching until the end it means a lot to me. Until next time you spicy may may.